Hi boys and girls. We're going to keep working on fraction stuff for math. Now, you're going to need something to color with. So I picked, I don't know, I think this is pink or purple. And then can you find your math paper in your workbook? Do you remember talking about fractions? What's a fraction? A fraction is a number that looks like this. There's a number on the top, there's a number on the bottom, and a line in between. Now, on your seat work, it says, follow the instructions to color fractions. Now, remember, fraction means part. So you're going to be coloring part of each of these shapes, except for one. There's a little trick. Okay. Now, it says right away in the first one, show one half. That's the word half. Remember, in the word half, L is silent. What does the fraction one half look like? It looks like that. What does it mean? The bottom number tells you that the shape, the rectangle, has been divided into two equal parts. The top number tells you how many of those parts to color. So how many am I, bleh, how many am I to color? One part out of, that's what this line means, one part out of the two parts that the shape's been divided into. So you get your crayon and you neatly color. Do you color the whole rectangle? No, you're only coloring a fraction of it. What fraction? One half, say one half. You got it. Okay, I'm coloring. I'll show you what I did in a minute. Now you have to be careful because you're only allowed to color a fraction of the rectangle. So if I, I'm not careful, I might color more than I need to. Okay, take a look at that. Can you see it? How did I do? I see two parts, that's the bottom number. I see that I colored one part so I colored one half of the rectangle. Now, take a look at this example. It says, show one quarter. Ooh, what does that mean? Well, remember, it takes four quarters to make a dollar. Okay, and so this shape has been divided into quarters. How many? Four. Okay, just like there are four quarters in a dollar. Okay, and that's the bottom number on the fraction. And then I'm to color one quarter. So that means I'm to color one out of, that's what this line means, the four parts that the shape's been divided into, which is the same as saying I'm going to color one fourth or I'm going to color one um, quarter. Oops, I forgot what I was saying there for a minute. Okay, so I'm over here busy coloring. And maybe you're doing yours too. So are you ready to show me what you colored? I'm ready. Take a look. Okay, see how there are four parts and I only colored one of them? That means I colored one fourth of a circle or one quarter. Now, this one here is tricky because it says show one whole. See how I put the number one? Remember, one means the whole thing. Does that mean I color the whole rectangle? Mm-hmm. And then you might be saying to yourself, but why is it divided into four parts? To trick you. Yep. Doesn't matter how many parts the shape has been divided into. In this case, it's a rectangle. If the question asks me to color one whole rectangle, then I have to color all the parts. If I only color one part, that means I've colored one part out of four parts. And we're back to the fraction one-fourth. That's not what it says to do. It says color the whole rectangle. One whole rectangle. So this time I can color all four parts. You know what it's really like saying? It's like saying you're coloring four-fourths because... I'll show you. Let me finish coloring. Let's see if you and I come up with the same thing. OK, 
Okay, see that? See how I colored all four parts? Okay, because it says color the whole thing. So then I said to you, that's the same as saying, watch. Whoops. I colored four parts out of the four parts that the rectangle's been divided into. So I colored four fourths. That's the same as one. Isn't that cool? All right, now you're going to go ahead and finish. You're going to color one half of this rectangle. Show one fourth of this square. Show one whole of this circle. Show one half. Show one quarter. Okay, whoops, did you see that? Maybe I was too close. So here you're coloring one whole, one fourth, one half, and one fourth again. Okay, now you can go on IXL. I didn't want to make you do an exercise on IXL under fractions because I thought to myself, hmm, some of these are kind of tricky and the boys and girls might get a little bit frustrated. But if you're feeling like you understand what Mrs. Card was explaining today about the top, what the top number means and the bottom number means, then you go ahead and try another exercise on IXL and see if you can answer a few more questions about fractions. Okay, have fun with that boys and girls. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Zoom meeting.